Oh baby, hello and welcome to Doom 3. This is going to be the next game I play through. Hopefully I play through it all, because actually <laughs> this is a game I've had for a long, long time. And I've played it a few times, several times, and I've never finished it. Um, don't know why. Let me just turn it down a bit. The audio, the game is a bit weird. It doesn't let you tab out and stuff. It's a bit frustrating, but uh, yeah, I do. Li I've always liked the aesthetic, though. I know that when this game came out, people were a bit disappointed in many aspects, but I think aesthetically, it's like very Doom. A pretty cool, interesting game. So and horror-ish, which I like because I think the original Doom was very horror. Horror-ish. Um, let me see. Yeah, everything should be fine. The resolution looks low. Oh, I don't know about this. Uh, veteran. That's probably a mistake because knowing games of this era, you can't change once you're in. <laughs> Once you're in the game, so it could be a mistake. So let's go for veteran. The Union Aerospace Corporation is the largest corporate entity in existence. Originally Whoa. focused on weapon and defense contracts, new ventures have expanded into biological research, space exploration, and other scientific endeavors. You think space was the first thing they do, the considering their name. <laughs> outside of moral and legal obligations, the UAC controls the most advanced technology ever conceived. Union Aerospace Corporation. I really like how they stuck to that stuff from the original as well. It's very, Incoming transport detected. very classic. Mars approach, Dark Star with U zero seven zero sixty three passing through three eight thousand. Roger, Dark Star, descend to two thousand, set speed, contact ground on two six nine seven two. Dark Star. I wonder if that's a reference to the movie. Although it was the, I think it was the original name for black holes before. Excellent. We called them black holes. Yes, sir. Tower, Dark Star on final. And this is the original version, not the BFG edition. Um, I don't own that, and I'm not paying 15 quid for <laughs> for the same game again, but. Uh, I think this one looks better, honestly, like it looks darker and stuff, and I like that. I think that's a good thing. Like me some dark I games. Come to this. I didn't want to come here. He left you no choice. True. But this is the last time. I'm tired of running damage control every time he makes a mess. Right. <laughs> You're the control. And if that fails, I'm the damage. If that's what it takes, the Kruger is going to start doing things our way. Whatever you say, Counselor. If we transitioned to a different time, it seems. Here we are. I like that it turns into a cursor. Like, that's really cool UI. That it's like a cursor and then it's like on the screen. I love that. Biological specimens. Welcome to Mars. All new arrivals need to check in at reception. If you're looking for someone to help you, just head to let's reception. Say, let's say ass. This a uh, Mars. Marsy. I just said ass. <laughs> like, dude, did you know you woke up this morning with a ass? To expedite your processing, please proceed directly to reception. This is like such a classic game intro. Like, it's very often, you know. I can delete stuff. Damn it. 
Oh, here's the darkness. Oh, here's the fists. Hell yeah. Oof. Oof. Man, those arms are uh, waxed. All the hair on them. What kind of man is he? Oof. I like how clean the text is. Welcome to Mars, Marine. I'm gonna need you to step on one of those red squares on the floor for a bio scan. This will only take a second. I have no no legs, I'm afraid. Okay, no feet to scan, but uh It's always a shame I love it when you have bodies. It's really lame when you don't. Alright, bioscan looks good. You're cleared for entry. <laughs> you must be an enemy. Welcome to Mars City. This facility is a central hub for all scientific research, archaeological study, and please report to central administration. Goal number one at the UAC is some interactive computers allow you to download information to your PDA. Just click the download button. Download now. Safety awareness. This includes restricting your movement to areas. Don't have a PDA, probably. Always remain alert. Robo caller. If you notice anything out of the ordinary, God, this screen. I, I love this screen thing. It's just bizarre. <laughs> Could make a whole game around that. Welcome to Mars. First time? You can just leave your bag there. I'll have it sent up your quarters. Okay. There's a few things we need to take care of first. This is your personal data One. assistant. It's the lighting in this place. All secure areas. If you get clearance for any security zones, it'll download directly. It's important. So don't lose it. I see here that Sergeant Kelly has requested your immediate attention. Head directly to Marine Command. It's just that way. Follow there is the signs. Oh. oh my god, I went into his head. Personal data assistant. <laughs> when people actually used PDAs. Your PDA is critical to your work at the UAC. Toggle your PDA. Of course, people, that was, that's the, that's the um, prediction that didn't last, isn't it? When we're, in, when we're on Mars, we're going to be still using PDAs rather than the 90s uh, super expensive phone. Your PDA contains your security clearance, personal email, audio logs, video discs, blah, 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 blah. Click to continue. Perform all your dues in a military manner. Use an email. This is definitely like something that I think people were not wanting in Doom and I don't really like this shit either, we have to read stuff. <laughs> it's not. Although that's like, I'm like hyper like that though, because like, if I start a um, free to play game, all free to play games look like the PDA screen. All free to play games, you launch them and you're like, what the fuck am I looking at? There's text everywhere, there's advertisements for shit, there's. It's just cr I just like to switch off immediately. I have to delete. Delete those games. Code black, missing staff, UAC security. It's looking. Please report information. Blah, blah, blah. Well, shit. Get rocking and rolling. All right. Haven't seen you before. You Must are be a Chang. Coming to check on us. I like the walls are like deeper than the floor. That's pretty cool, spacey thing. I'm here because there seems to be some very serious problems. Oh really? Do I need to remind you of the groundbreaking work that we're doing here? I'm sure he's no, a good guy. But I've been authorized by the board to look at everything. The board authorized you? Hmm. The board doesn't know the first thing about science. All they want is something to make them more money. Some product. Don't worry. They'll get their product. <laughs> how many accidents? Tell me, Dr. Petruger, why are so many workers spooked, complaining, requesting transfers off Mars? They simply can't handle life here. They're exhausted and overworked. If I had a larger, more competent staff and bigger budget, even these few accidents could have been avoided. I'm afraid you'll get nothing more until my report is filed with the board. I will need full access, Dr. Petruger, Delta included. I won't have any difficulties doing that, will I? Only if you get lost, Swan. 
Just stay out of my way. Amazing things will happen here soon. You just wait. <laughs> Gotta say, the lip syncing is actually not that bad. Considering some games today still look horrific. Like, <laughs> some games do worse lip syncing than, than older games. Well, lip animation, I suppose, stuff like that. Yo, can I take a shit in here, please? Uh, I've been needing a shit the whole way, <laughs> the whole six month journey from Earth. Look how dark it is, I love it. Oh my god, a mirror. Mirrors, they're still... Still underutilized in games. Yeah, so those suits arrived too. Weird. The UAC must be worried about something. This is a creepy ass place to work. Accidents in Delta. <laughs> Accidents? That's good. Is that what they're calling him now? I hear they designed this facility Attention. after Dr. Braddock, please report to environment management the style of a public Alpha. toilet. <laughs> it looks like one giant. You need to report to Sergeant Kelly ASAP. In that's good. I accidentally found my right way here, so that's. Very public uh, communications. Western Hemisphere. That is a big ass gun. Took your sweet time, Marine. Now. Here's the situation. Another member of the science team's gone missing. Since you're the ranking FNG, you get to find him. I want you to check out the old decommissioned comm facility. We heard he might be heading that way. The only way there is through the service passage under Mars City. I programmed this sentry to guide you to the maintenance elevator. The sewers. You followed a sentry better than you followed orders so far. I got some gear at the security checkpoint at the bottom of the elevator. Oh, and when you find him, just bring him back. Do not hurt him. Now move out. Do not hurt him. I didn't hear that bit. Mars looks cool though. Um, there's not enough games on. Well, maybe there are. <laughs> there are quite a lot of games on Mars, I guess, but not enough good ones. Because it does look fucking cool. The whole red planet look. There is. This in movies, obviously, not in real life. Doesn't really look that. Doesn't look all that in real life, but. Uh, Guess the total recall. Ghost of Mars, although that's a pretty bad movie, unfortunately. <laughs> but, uh. But that kind of look is pretty cool. Right, whack him with that thing. He's sedated. And there are, you don't get many... Well, I don't know, I think all movies are pretty shit these days, but you don't, you don't get that many like f like good fantasy... Not even good. You don't get that many like fantasy sci-fi sort of stuff. You know, like Ghosts of Mars, it's all like realistic these days, or pretending to be realistic. Exciting volunteer positions. Yeah, I need to get out of this job. I think I was ordered to eat, right? Always nice seeing new faces around here. Hope you enjoy your stay. Hear about Corporal Allen? Yeah, they said he just lost it. Shipped home this week. Oh boy. Damn. What the Oh, this is cool. This is cool. literally a clicker. Very funny. Ooh. I love the shading on that bird though. <laughs> Man, games were just interesting. Like, I should play uh, Prey as well. If I've still got it. If it still works. The original Prey. You know, it's kind of like interesting worlds. Back in here again. Are you peeking on me? Peeping Tom. 
Right, I actually know where I'm going. Do I have a map? Personal, personal, not personal. Follow the sentry bot. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I guess he was like coming to get me. Yeah, sorry, I got distracted. Needed to check myself out in the mirror. Okay, the maintenance entrance. So we're going from dark to grim dark. I think that's the trajectory of this. Supplies. Wait, what did you say? Listen to something. Do oh, I have to listen to shit to Adam Burnett? This is the audio log of maintenance technician Adam Burnett, dated November 10th, Sorry, Burnett. I fixed the couplings on the heat shields this morning with no problems. I did, however, have another odd experience while I was down there. Shortly after finishing the first coupling adjustment, I shut myself. I heard whispering. When I went to investigate the sounds, I found nothing. I checked the work logs, and I was the only person scheduled to be in that area today. That experience, coupled with the stories I've heard from some guys over in the Delta Labs, has me pretty freaked out. Yeah, you must be going crazy. I hate going down to the underground maintenance area. The people down there are a bit off. The mumbling, the weird looks. The whole place is just plain creepy. I'm always expecting someone to jump out at me. <laughs> I've secured my tools and the busted modulator in the storage cabinet next to the maintenance elevator. Technicians should use cabinet code 396 to access them. I End see. 396. You see, I do like this atmosphere way more than the later Dooms. I mean, I did really love Doom Eternal, but like, in particular. Actually, the, the, the Doom 2016 didn't really grab me, but Doom Eternal was like, bloody great. 396, I think. Let's try it. But I do love this sort of atmosphere. Slightly more like... Well, you actually, like, witness... Well, you don't witness it, but you hear of, like, how... I guess the Hell Takeover thing kind of started. Which is fun. Click to exit to Mars City. Did I, like, pick anything up? <laughs> I know I did, but... Is it just ammo, or do I get... I guess it wouldn't put a gun in there because you might miss it, but I have no gun. Welcome to the dungeon, Marine. Marine. Most unexciting place on Mars. Do I ask? You to grab some in Mars. And secure your pistol before I can pass you through security. Cool. Okay, These are nice looking good. weapons. Yeah. Now you're ready for combat. This pistol do a radio test. is. Uh, I like the look of it a lot, but it's... <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's the exact same one they put in Rage as well. Excellent. Good signal. And I should... I like Rage as well, actually. I thought it was a pretty good game. Underrated. Underappreciated. The underground junction, then straight out. You'll have quick evac. And what better way to see the Martian surface than to run across it? Okay, you're all set. Yeah, it sounds like a stupid idea to run across the Mars surface. Civilians are working down. Don't get excited and shoot it. Alright. But yeah. Pistol is the same one. But but in lower resolution. <laughs> lower fidelity. But it's pretty cool. Looking pistol. Hey! You're looking for the scientist, right? I'm not sure you want to find him. You see. <laughs> uh, never mind. Captain Rogers. Duck Rogers? Although it's C. Oh, so it's Captain. I guess that's why I said Captain. But. Duck Rogers of the. whatever century. I haven't seen that in. obviously, since I was a kid. Why don't you shut the fuck up? Like how weird everyone looks as well. It's quite, everyone looks quite grotesque in this game. It's a nice uh, aesthetic. Masthetic, right? Grant Baston. Sorry, Baston. This is Grant Baston. No. Environmental shit. Services Supervisor. The date is October 19th. I've been hearing an alarming number of reports on some uh, unexplainable things. 
being on another planet and working underground has always been a little spooky. So we always have the occasional report of strange things. But what is worrying me is the fact that the number of these reports are up by a lot. People are truly frightened. The rumors we're hearing about experiments from the Delta Complex are not helping. The power fluctuations aren't helping at all either. Having the lights flicker constantly and losing power for several minutes at a time is scaring everyone down here. I'm doing my best to keep that people sound. on track, but we're continually shorthanded. Someone's reporting in sick almost every day. I'll keep my director apprised of the situation, and we'll continue to log reports as I get them. Damn, no supply, not code. I look, you have to, this is one thing people didn't like as well, is that you have to juggle flashlight and weapon, but I think that's great, like, that's like a really cool, you know, thing, it's like you have to be, you're not safe with the flashlight. Guys, not keep any of these machines running? Yes, sir. It's just that the science team demands a lot out of these things. Enough excuses. Just do your job and get the science team what they need. Well, I'm doing it. Oh, baby. Do you make a habit of sneaking up on people? Yes. Everyone's already on edge. That's why I'm sent to Mars. It's like a penal colony. <laughs> Uh oh, explosive barrel. Scary shit, it's about to go down, boys. <laughs> I love how the flashlight is mostly just <laughs> the front of the torch. Not actually <laughs> lighting much up. Which, by the way, flashlight shit in like 2000 and what, two, three? When did this come out? It's pretty, very impressive. Uh, very visually uh, a hardware demanding game. Hey, you're that new guy headed for the old comm center, right? You better hustle up now. This passage doesn't go all the way there. Oh, I'm yeah. going to walk outside to the center's airlock. Hey, don't sweat it. Your set's got plenty of oxygen. Shining a torch in his face. This was cool as well. Oh, it looks so good. I guess it's kind of funny actually, but Rage does obviously look a lot like this. Because it's all red rock desert shit. Which is a very cool look. I wonder if there's like stuff I should look for. Not sure. Is that health though, if I was injured? This is Sergeant Kelly. You need to double time it down there. Search your assigned area and haul your ass back to Mars City. Out. Um. Beach Old Calm Building. Marine, you gotta hold shift. Gotta run faster, Marine. Huh? Oh my god. No, no, please. You must let me get this communication out. They have to be warned while there is still time. I can't let... I, you don't know what I've seen. You can't possibly understand or comprehend. The devil is real. What no. the devil are you talking about? I'm getting abnormal readings here. This is bad. Oh, God! We can't hold these levels. Send the ass marines. Oh shit. Very cool. Oh my god, I love games from this era. <laughs> Whoa shit, I actually <laughs> crap myself. This is Sergeant Kelly. We're under attack by an unknown enemy force. Fall back to Marine HQ to regroup. How much bullets do so I have? Quite a lot. Do I go back down? I say again, fall back to Marine HQ and await further orders. Like, you know, like System Shock, Fear. Fear's a game. 
I should probably play as well. Pray a bit. Just that kind of like atmosphere and I don't know. The themes are a little off kilter, you know, like the style and stuff. It's a little less smooth and obvious. You are dead. Luckily, I wasn't even looking, <laughs> so it didn't quite freak me out. <laughs> oh, I have to jump as well. Yeah, platforming, dude. <laughs> First person platforming. Which is what? Doom Eternal and Doom, I guess 2016 was obviously fantastic at. What? Is that the imp? This is Command HQ. Report directly to Marine Headquarters and await further orders. But actually what I think was best about Doom Eternal, that I don't think any FPS has ever done like it, is how tactical it was to play. You son of a bitch. Like, to me it felt a lot like control, like an RTS to control. Wait. Well, ow, okay. It felt like an RTS to play because you had to press all these buttons. You know, you're constantly moving, jumping, and like swapping weapons for each enemy, and like having to tackle enemies in really like specific ways for each enemy to, to, to like beat them the most effectively. And it feels like microing an RTS or something. And I thought that was really, really satisfying. And I'd love to see more FPS games work like that. Is that really how you're supposed to get those? Because that's very silly. Um, I guess I'll listen to that log. Although, what is this, Twin Peaks? Why am I listening to a log? Uh, if you get the reference. Okay. Satisfying feeling of a job well done. Ow! Oh my god, there's no. <laughs> Those guys are motherfuckers.